Okay, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. Thank you very much for joining me here and being a subscriber. Okay, guys, uh, before anything else, I would like to invite you to join my YouTube channel for a detailed explanation of the BL, uh, building management system or building automation system engineering scope. Okay, now today's what I'm going to do is to explain one of the Erlang unit that you might be. Uh, encountering in your BMS project, okay? Now, what I have here is the energy recovery unit. Okay, first, let me, okay, let me go to the full screen, okay? Now, here, guys, uh, I have here an energy recovery unit or what you call ERU, okay? So, what is an energy recovery unit? What is the purpose of this unit or how it differs from other aerobing units? Okay, guys, actually, I'm explaining this in my uh, membership part of my YouTube channel. Now, I'm just going to give you an idea what is an energy recovery unit. Actually, uh, this energy recovery unit, uh, it is using a system or a way to recover some of the energy from your system to be utilized to conserve energy, okay? Now, actually, uh, how this energy recovery unit will conserve energy. Now, if you are the owner of the building, one of your concerns is the energy consumption, okay? So the lesser energy consumption is uh, better from an owner's point of view, okay? No, but you don't need to compromise the comfort cooling in your building, okay? Now, so energy recovery unit actually uh, in this, ERU, it is using a heat pipe, okay? So actually in this graphics, I'm showing two types of heat pipe. Okay, one heat pipe that you can install or insert from the upstream and lower stream of your air handling unit, okay? Then there's another type of heat pipe that you can use. This is a wrap around heat pipe. When you say wrap around, it is being wrap around in the cooling coil, okay? So uh, it shows that your cooling coil is sandwiched, okay? Now, uh, so these heat pipes are the one recovering the energy. Then these heat pipes will be the one to uh, conserve energy to minimize the uh, power consumption of your building, okay? So basically if you have this system your chilled water consumption will be lesser okay lesser chilled water consumption meaning less uh, lesser uh, chilled water consumption meaning lesser power consumption okay now uh, again uh, this heat pipe it doesn't have any moving parts so it's very uh, easy to maintain because there is no moving part and it is long life because of there is no moving parts again. So it is a long life. Uh, it has a long life. Okay. Now uh, <clears throat> here the energy because our uh, we have here the what you call this the exhaust airstream or our return airstream is being utilized by our heat pipe to bring down the outside air temperature a little bit lower than the ambient temperature, okay? So again, the, the same purpose here. Now I'm explaining this in my, uh, in full detail in my membership uh, part of my YouTube channel, okay? So guys, actually, uh, this ERU, uh, actually, if you are the BMS engineer, it is not your uh, scope to uh, program because as a BMS engineer, again, you will be the one to uh, write the control program for the two fans and the rest of the equipment inside your air hauling unit, okay? But for the heat pipe, you don't need to worry about it because as I said, you will not do any control in the heat pipe. It's just placed there inside the air handling unit. Then there will be no more uh, control logic programming for that one. Okay, then this scope heat pipe requirement is the scope of the mechanical engineer 
who will be responsible in selecting the air handling unit for the ERU based on the mechanical specification of the project, okay? Now, maybe when the mechanical engineer will check the uh, equipment schedule for the mechanical part, then you will be able to see this air handling or ERU requirement. Then this is his scope to study the requirement or the specification and give this information to the uh, company that will supply the air handling unit. So they will be the one to select the heat pipe requirement of the unit, okay? So for a BMS engineer, it will not be your problem on how to write the control logic program for the heat pipe, okay? So heat pipe will just uh, give us a way to conserve some energy, okay? By utilizing the energy in the upstream or in the exhaust or the return airstream of the unit, okay? So again, thank you, and I inviting you to be jo uh, to join my YouTube channel to be able to get the detailed explanation. Or uh, I'm trying to guide a new BMS engineer or a new mechanical engineer who is wishing to join an MEP company, a mechanical electrical plumbing company, who is responsible for uh, installing the mechanical and electrical and plumbing uh, equipments of a certain project or a certain building okay so guys again thank you very much for joining me and i hope you will get some idea how an energy recovery unit works thank you and again uh, before i will end my tutorial i will always say get this as all let's all be safe and bye for now <laughs>